here we are going to make a prime and composite chart. Before you begin, you need a key at the bottom of your hundreds chart. Remember, the numbers that you circle are your prime numbers. Think the alphabet, OP. The numbers that you X out or slash are your composite numbers. In this example, I will be Xing them out. Also, don't forget, one is neither prime nor composite. Now, fill out your hundreds chart from left to right, one to a hundred. After filling out your hundreds chart, go down to your key and highlight that you are circling all of the prime numbers. Remember, the number one is neither prime nor composite. The first prime number that you're gonna circle is two. You can highlight now or later at the very end. After you have circled your prime number two, cross out all the multiples of two. You'll start to notice a pattern. All the multiples of two are even numbers. Now that you've finished crossing out the multiples of two, notice that these are all composite numbers. The next prime number you circle is three. Remember, you can highlight now or at the very end. To find the multiples of three, use a calculator. Press three plus three or three plus equals. Then continue to press enter to cross out all other multiples of three. Continue to cross out your multiples. If it's already crossed out, no worries, just continue on. The next prime number you circle is five. Remember, you can highlight now or at the very end. To find the multiples of five, you can use a calculator or you can use what you know. 10, 15, 20, 25, Continue crossing out the multiples of five. The next prime number you circle is seven. Remember, you can highlight now or at the very end. You can find the multiples of seven using a calculator. Press seven plus seven or seven plus equals. Then, continue to press enter or equals to cross out all other multiples of seven. Continue to cross out your multiples of seven. Remember, if it's already crossed out, keep going. 98 is the last one for the multiples of seven. It should already be crossed out. The next prime number you circle is 11. Eight, nine, and 10 are composite numbers. 11 is your next prime number. Remember, you can highlight now or at the very end. 11 is your check. Check diagonally to see if all the multiples of 11 have been crossed out. After you check your 11s, it is now time to circle all your prime numbers. The next prime number you circle is 13, then 17, then 19. Remember, you need to go in order from left to right. Do not jump around. You should have a total of 25 numbers circled. Now you can highlight the remaining prime numbers. Highlight your numbers from top to bottom, left to right.
Once you're finished highlighting, count to make sure there are 25 total. Guess what? You're all done. Congratulations, you know how to fill out a prime and composite chart.